Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic, your research and destruction channel. Happy 4th of July to all you Merkins out there, and just 4th of July to everybody else. We are super excited about today's video. If you thought this video was the dumbest thing you'd ever seen us do on YouTube, well, it still probably is. But this is what we got for you today. We got black cat body armor. Yes, folks, this thing is packed full of firecrackers. And I am, I'm super excited to do this one. I, one of our uh, subscribers had said, hey, for 4th of July, I wanna see some body armor with some fireworks in it. And we were like, done, that is a great idea. So thank you for that idea. So this thing is in epoxy. So it holds everything together. So it's nice and solid, been drying for about 48 hours. And these are the rounds we are gonna shoot at it today. We have a 223, our little lipstick load here. These things are great. All of these make a nice purdy fireball. So we got the 223, we got 308 blue tip here, and then we got my favorite, the 54RPZ. And if it doesn't all burn up after these three rounds, which I really hope it doesn't go off completely on the first round, we are gonna light this thing completely on fire with our flamethrower. So this is what we got for you guys today. Hit that subscribe button. You're gonna like this channel if you've never seen us before. Here we go. First round up is the 308 blue tip. Maybe in the comments you can tell us what the blue tip means. Out of our Bear Creek Arsenal 308. Thanks to them for that. We're good. That was a pretty good flash, right? Sweet. The first round did not completely destroy it. I was thinking if this thing makes a huge flash on this side, we're in trouble. So that was the 308 blue tip. It went right through down here. Here it went right there. So I was kind of hoping and still am hoping that this epoxy will be hard enough to set off maybe the 223 round and we have a whole bunch of fuses sticking out here and that uh, it'll it'll cause them to go off but this is the back again we put this up here just to ensure those rounds would go off and it just blew right through it nice pretty uh, pretty job here on the back there it, those things always make a nice artwork. Okay, well we are going to do the 54R PZ round now. So, comment below, let me know guys and gals, what is your favorite all-time firework? Now, I'm an old fart, okay? I don't care if it's the big ginormous ones, but I really like those Saturn missile batteries when I was a kid and those, um, ground flower spinners they change like three colors those were always my favorite ones so comment below let us know what your favorite firework is on to the next round all right so now it's time for the 762 54r pz round which stands for well honestly i have no idea what it stands for maybe let us know in the comments because i don't think chris does either that'd be handy anyway so we went with a chinese mosin instead of the psl because we noticed that the rounds were tumbling out of the PSL in the last video. I'm not sure if that's because of the round we were using or the rifle itself, but this one seems to stabilize them pretty well. We good? Go for it. I can't remember if the shot high or low. I guess I'll figure it out. Ooh. 
That was nice and smoky. Where oh where did Justin hit? <laughs> Dude, I've asked you this before. Can you just suck at shooting once, okay? He hit almost the same hole. Here it is right here. Here's the first one right up here. And then he smacked this one, some good old powder. This will be, I think we're gonna be uh, using that there flamethrower at the end, Justin, what do you think? I think so. But let's check out the back. Let me get rid of my barbed wire. That was some great body armor, just really heavy. <laughs> well, he made some more beautiful art. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. That first one looks like a balloon knot. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny, I have no idea what that is. But, <laughs> okay, so they're all blowing through. Again, hopefully, hopefully this 223 um, will set something off. Like I said, we got a bunch of fuses. We just need one to light. And this, you guys gotta check out this uh, beautiful, beautiful rifle uh, that we're gonna be shooting this bad boy out of, so. Uh, without further ado, let's go. All right, thanks to our friend Jeff. Let us borrow this, his AR that he built. It's an absolute beauty. But check out where the charging handle is. That's just too cool. And yes, they were made this way at one point in time. Maybe in the comments you can let us know when that was and why and why they went away from it. But this thing is just absolutely gorgeous. It's got this nice TFR by Lockman Arms and then just various other beautiful pieces of furniture. But this is one I'm honestly afraid to handle because it's just too pretty for me. All right. Ready when you are. Go for it. That was a good flash. Notice I didn't drop the mag this time because I didn't want to <laughs> damage someone else's mag. Well, on the high speed, you guys did see a flash on this side, but it did not set off any dead gum fireworks. But that's okay, we have a flamethrower. It did go through because you did see the flash out here, but really quick you see a flash on this side. Let's check it out. All right, down there, down yonder. Down yonder right here, blew a firework right in half and still didn't make, I don't know, maybe that helped, but it didn't, part of the fuse is hanging out. <laughs> we got fuses out everywhere. Now, before it gets too windy out here, let's break out the flamethrower. All right, so enough messing around with these flammable rounds. How will we get something that's actually truly flammable? We got this XM42 flamethrower. Let's set some stuff on fire. You ready? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's working now. Ah! I am way too close for this.
This is too much fun. Ah! What did you have in there? <laughs> oh no, here it comes. Here's another one. Like it's a fountain. Jeez. There's another mouse. Where are they coming from? I'm gonna ah, I'm gonna make friends with it. Okay, we're going in. <laughs> that was cool. Ah, I'm gonna put this here because I know some rounds are still cooking off and they're gonna go off. We still are not done with this yet because it's 4th of July and we got to have a good time with this and we just love you guys. So we have a full auto 223 with 10 rounds in it. We're going to light this back on fire and then just pepper it with them rounds. See what else we can get to go off. Here we go. Fade away. All right. So. We got the M16 out. Let's see if we can completely destroy the rest of this target while it's on fire. You good? All right. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> we got some more sparks out of it. That sound was cool. Well, everybody, thank you guys for coming out. We'll see if any more of those things go off. That was awesome. Thank you to our patrons. Again, hit that subscribe button. Help us reach that 200,000. Don't forget to pick up your Gone Ballistic t-shirts, $10, and you get a free 50 cal laser engraved brass. Whew. Now, we're almost out of these shirts. We are buying some more. Again, thank you guys. Happy 4th of July, wherever you are in the world. We'll be back.